Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new, my name is Jahan, and this is going to be your career, finance, and business reading. In case you're new to tarot, just know that these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, or they may even resonate at a later time, as we are all on different phases of our life journey. So feel free to rewatch it in a few weeks to see what comes to light for you. I also wanted to say thank you to all of my new subscribers and everyone who has ordered personal readings. Thank you so much and I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a timeless reading so whenever you see it will be the right time for you to see it. So uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, let's take a look at your money energy. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, angels. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Coins. So I am seeing communication in reference to your work. I'm seeing good news in reference to your work. Um, if you've applied for a job, I'm seeing you getting communication back some of you this is after a time of feeling um, stuck or feeling as though uh, there's a restriction or constraint on you cancer sun when and rising Some of you, if you're a business owner, you're getting good reviews or feedback from your customers. Overall energy here, we have the Ace of Swords, so breakthrough, clarity, finally speaking your truth, coming into your power and standing in your power and staying there. Um, Again, I'm seeing clarity and communication in reference to uh, your finances, reference to a job, in reference to your career. Some of you, I feel as though a path has been laid and you finally know what you want to do. I see major accomplishments. I see you ending something major and starting something new. I see a major life change. I'm hearing congratulations. I see uh, someone is graduating or someone will be able to use their degree or finally be able to use the degree because there are a lot of people out here that graduate from college and can't even use their degree for anything but I feel as though you're you feel it uh, you're finally going to receive some sort of accomplishment some of you are traveling or I'm seeing you doing a lot of import export some of you your products have been cleared at the port or like I'm getting immigration paperwork and documents But let's take a look at your main cards. We have the Seven of Cups. I'm seeing the Three of Wands. And then we have Strength. So I'm getting a situation where people are trying to lowball you. I feel as though you've already declined several different offers. People aren't trying to pay you for what you're worth. For example, like with tarot readers, they're probably people are probably keep asking you for free readings. Like you don't pay bills too. Um, but I feel as though you're declining any offers that you are not satisfied with, and you're uh, looking at what else is out there. I feel as though before you guys settle on an offer, Spirit is urging you to kind of shop around a little bit, if that makes sense. Do your research make to make an ed educated choice. And I feel as though some of you, this is going to have to really call you to step out of your co comfort zone. Know that when you're going in for interviews, not only are they interviewing you, but you should also be interviewing these uh, 
potential prospects and these potential companies that are going to hire you because a lot of them aren't really upfront and honest when you first apply they'll tell you one thing but then later on you found out you find out it's another thing you know what i mean so make sure that just as much as they're grilling you and interrogating you that you're doing the same so that you're finding something that's a good match and i also see you uh, as someone who already probably does this and you, you're declining a lot of offers for various reasons some because they might not be wanting to pay you what you feel you're worth some of you because you just feel like it's not a good worth um, I mean it's not a good uh, it's not a good fit Ooh. Some of you, you feel as though they expect a lot. The position might expect too much out of you. Wow, we have the Joker and then the King of Diamonds. So uh, childlike, uncorrupt, humor, carefree, 222. So there's a need for you to have a lot of optimism as well. With the King of Diamond, we have uh, the Midas Touch, supportive business leader, reliable, savvy, and materialistic. So I see you, um, because of your op optimistic mindset, I see that being able, uh, you being able to really step into a sense of stability, to step into your boss shit. Some of you are starting a new position as a, a manager or, uh, or might be get a uh, either you're, you're gonna get a promotion to move up and level up um, or uh, a, someone of an authority figure is going to reach out to you sorry guys my camera died on me because my storage was full but anyways I see this person wanting to offer you a job possibly um, someone who's very stable some of you you might even meet someone who's wanting to mentor you also um, but let's get some more clarifiers oh look popped up again the king of diamonds so to clarify the seven of cups cancer we have the king of wands some of you you had to reject an offer um and you know it may have even been a good business offer but you may have had to reject this offer because this person was coming at you to try to mix business and pleasure this person was trying to get at you on a romantic sense so you're kind of just um, I'm getting some of you can't even really take this person serious every time they talk about business because they're constantly trying to get in between your legs or something. Um, but um, some of you also, I see you moving forward and taking action towards better offers after rejecting um, offers where you felt as though uh, people were lowballing you or not wanting to pay you what you feel you're worth. Um, or maybe the pay was sucky or maybe you didn't. They're trying to like give you all these duties and responsibilities but they're not wanting to offer you benefits you know situations like that so clarify the three of wands we have uh, the ten of cups so uh, happiness I feel as though you will find what you're looking for in business and career again if you've been looking <clears throat> excuse me if you've been looking for a job I see you finding that job the perfect match that'll make you very very happy I see you being very emotionally fulfilled it'll be I'm getting a sense where uh, the work environment will be very cool and laid back very uh, nice work culture really cool um, peaceful harmonious introverted co-workers who won't like small talk you to death when you go grab coffee in the morning type situation like everybody's laid back um some of you are you're allowed to like because i remember i had this job where I, it was a call center but pretty much i had my own cubicle and i was allowed to like knit and like play games or do whatever i wanted as long as i was like answering my calls and like doing my job so i see you doing that to you know you being able to really uh, read and do whatever you want on the job um, some of you, I also see you like showing up for auditions and uh, being offered the position or being offered the role. Um, but whatever it is, I see you having to take the action in order to make this happen. I feel as though some of you guys will really like this new job or new uh, business situation because it'll be one that's very harmonious and peaceful. Some of you, I'm getting, you're finally doing what you love to do. To clarify uh, the strength card, we have the Two of Swords. So I'm getting, um, after a time of being blocked off or feeling as though you, you're uh, stuck, some of you are really going to end up having to leave your comfort zone and uh, really go after what you want with the King of Wands. The King of Wands, when he sees something, he goes after it. So I feel as though if you're wanting to really uh, manifest this breakthrough for yourself, 
um, step out of your 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 uh, your comfort zone. And with the strength, universe is supporting you. They're giving you that uh, that energy of strength, Cancer, for you to really step out of your comfort zone to be able to call in what you want and manifest what you want. Let's see what else we can get. Yep, it's time to make a choice, especially if you've been unclear. Um, Spirit is telling you to do your research, widen your perspective. It's really time for you to step into your personal power to assert yourself. You have achievement, but you have uh, to really have that courage and assert yourself and have that strength to really go after what you want. Some of you, I feel as though you might be into a fitness business or you might need to get fit energetically. Um, so work out, but not just so that you could like lose weight, but to or to tone up, but work out in the sense to where you can get your energy moving and that in turn can also help you release any stagnant energy. Um, some of you, you might gain a, a higher perspective once you finish, once you're done working out. To clarify, we have again, 333, taking a leap, good omen, transitional period, next stage, beginning and end life cycle. I see a lot of you guys, again, starting new gigs, projects, new jobs, starting or opening new business businesses, some of you traveling for work. And finally, um, finding something that you love to do finally feeling as though um you know they say if you love what you do uh you don't work a day in your life <clears throat> type situation so i feel as though you guys are really going to find your fit after a time of having to reject a few offers in business and your finances kissing a few frogs um and finances and in your business some of you you make bad investments in the past but now you guys um, have done the research you widen your knowledge um and so now your investments are turning out for you positively so yeah this is what i'm getting for you cancer thank you so much for watching um and you guys will see me in my next video infinite blessings